Let's get to it. YouTube, what is going on? Delicious Guardians, it is Mesa Sean back at it with some Destiny. And uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you saw some shenanigans go on Saturday of me complaining that I never get anything from the Vault of Glass or Atheon Hardly. So here's my drop, and everyone's, uh, particularly Robert and Falico, who are just known to troll my ass every time, keep saying that I got the Mita multi tool. And I'm calling it Mita. I don't know if it's Mita or Mita, I'm calling it Mita. So sure enough, I look and I say, ah, well, you know what? My inventory was full, but I didn't see it pop up in the left side of my the screen. They're swearing on it. So, of course, we go to the tower, and I shriek like a little schoolgirl, because uh, I just need this, the Hardlight, and Thunderlord, and I pretty much got them all. So, let's jump into the review, guys. Now, I have a grand old time with this thing in PvP, which uh, doesn't really make sense, because on paper, is this the uh, highest impact scout rifle? Nope. Is it the fastest firing scout rifle? Nope. Uh, but, you know me, guys, I'm all about feel, and for some reason, alright, just hear me out on this one. The sound and the clean sights, like when you shoot, how clear and clean it is when you're getting your shots on, it just for some reason works for me. You know, I've always said this before, gun sounds make a world of difference in a game. I always point this out in Black Ops 2 compared to the past two Call of Duties. Black Ops 2, for some reason, with the lack of music and with how the uh, sound of the weapons and even the sound of the reloading, see certain guns, if they just sound cool, I'm going to want to use them more. And uh, for some reason with the Mita, it sounds cool, it's got clean sights, and I do well with it. So I'm just going to roll with it. I was having a blast with it in PvP. Now, damage-wise, it's going to pull uh, 37s off the body and then 55s precision. So, again, not very powerful, but I told you, I'm all about feel. I don't know what it is. The sound, the clean sights, and when I say clean sights and uh, when you're shooting it, you know certain scout rifles when you're actually firing at something, like you could see your bullets, like you see them sometimes, they light up a little bit, or in particular, like the Necrochasm shoots those uh, green bullets, I think. I don't know. It just it feels so clean. One thing, though, I, I think this thing would be way more deadly if uh, you had sight options. I know I, none of the exotics I believe none of the exotics have different sights on it but if this thing had some sort of like red dot or uh, quick draw is on it or something I think it would be way more fun kind of similar to like no land beyond I haven't used it since like bought it and leveled it up but I feel like no land beyond if it had different sights I might use it more because it, it looks like a fun gun but the sights just it, they're too cluttered and they mess with me but sights are good on this thing I just think it would it'd be really cool if we had some sight options on it so now one of the things everyone was raving to me about prior was how fast you're gonna move with this thing because of the meaty multi-tool perk that you uh, you get some speed and then there's a plus two agility so then you throw it on a hunter with radiant dance machines and you'll be strafing all over the place and no one can kill you ah, it didn't work for me it actually totally throws my aim off and I already you know guys you guys know me already bad aims my gillicuddy see I, uh, I used to play on a sensitivity of like seven or eight I think and once it went down to a three I definitely got better in terms of you know aim department even though I still stink on ice but um I kind of wish it didn't have the such speed perks you know I scout rifles are meant to be used for long distance so I like slow moving scout rifles in terms of uh, strafing and stuff like that this one this one strafes a little too much for me but you'll see when we get to the uh, perks I don't use the agility perk I go with the uh, field scout for it so anyway that's it let's jump into the perks now in PvE you know I actually like this better in PvP than PvE because you know it doesn't have any elemental damage and a lot of your other scout rifles like Song of Ryu, Vision of Confluence they do elemental damage so eh, you might want to use those I was having a little more luck with uh, the Mita Mita in PvP but you can see uh, jumping off the charts the reload on this thing is really fast um, for the first tier I just go with smart drift control the other two affect uh, range and stability just a tad but it's it's really negligible <laughs> in terms of uh, the change then you got third eye so the radar is going to stay active when aiming down sights that's great for me because in pvp i'm constantly looking at my mini map well what do i call mini map radar uh and i got killed a lot for doing that then you got lightweight and then uh or you could choose field scout or snapshot now i always go with field scout because i find that when i combine lightweight along with meet a multi-tool the next perk where you get a uh, boost in speed and also it fires on a hair trigger now what that basically means is it's not going to change the rate of fire or anything, it just you don't have to press your, well in my case it's the R2 button all the way back to actually fire it, you could just kind of lightly feather it, I guess we could say you could feather the trigger. So overall with uh, trying to give you my subjective, trying to be objective opinion, um, it's good. I like it better in PvP than I do PvE, because I find in PvE, you know, I love my Fang of Ryut, I love my uh, Vision of Confluence, and if I'm going to use a Kinetic Damage, Scout Rifle, you know, the Saturnine Rapier is really damn good, because you got Firefly, and if you land Precision Shots, you also get a Speed Reload, even though I think you only get about 19 rounds. Uh, same thing uh, with the Fang of Ryut, I have Field Scout on it, and you got 27 rounds, and you also get Spray and Play, so a little more useful, and it does Arc Damage. 
So let me know in the comment section what you guys think, if you guys have it. Do you guys like it? Is it replacing your other scout rifles? I hope not. That's it. Drop a like in this video. Only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter. Mesa Sean. Check out my stream. Links will be in the description. That's it. You stay drop dead gorgeous, Guardians.